Good morning. Welcome to Simply Social Stories. This is Marcia Blessing and I'm here today with Richard Utley of the Central Pennsylvania Black Business Directory and Utley Associates. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Thank you for having me. Good to have you on here. So Richard and I have known each other for uh, several years at this point in time. Um, this is something that we've worked on together. It's been a love and a passion of Richard's. And so as we have been sharing founders stories, thought that this would be a great thing to be able to bring on and introduce our audience to. So can you share with our audience a little bit about what the Central Pennsylvania Black Business Directory is? Sure. The Central Pennsylvania Black Directory and Resource Guide was a vision that I had that I wanted to bring to Central Pennsylvania. Uh, Pittsburgh had one and Erie had one, so I decided to put my money and my energy and your friendship together to start this magazine. I'm going into my eighth year. And the concept of the Pennsylvania Central Pennsylvania Black Director and Resource Guide is that it's for African American businesses as well as anybody who wants to do business in the black community. It's geared for the black community. It's produced by hard copy as well digitally. So someone can go online and get it as well as someone who wants a hard copy. And I have found that senior citizens and people that they like the hard copy they like to have something to hold and so it's been very successful i like to continue it so i'm trying to expand my base of advertising so that i can keep this wonderful directory going so is this directory exclusive to harrisburg no it's central pennsylvania there's a large minority population in central pennsylvania there's pockets so we do cover adams county we we do we do cover Lancaster County. We, we try to, to expand as far as possible York County, uh, Dauphin County, Perry County. At the same time, not only do we do advertising, as I said, we do resource guide as well. We try to highlight different informational or tourist kinds of places that people might want to go to those in those counties. So what is that emphasis for this upcoming year? This year, we're going to do it on places that have African-American significance. Uh, I worked with the Adam County Historical Society. Mm -hmm. I've worked with the Lancaster Historical Society, the Dauphin County Historical Society. And we're trying to look at each county and we're trying to get information and in places that people may not be aware of or maybe people would like to visit that were very significant in terms of African Americans for a long period of history. So whenever you were talking about um, who this kind of would serve, uh, I'm hearing there's really like two different groups of people that it would serve. So I understand it would definitely be for the African American population, um, but it also sounded, is there something for companies for them to utilize this as well? Oh, as a no question. Guide? I have found that companies have actually physically called me and said, hey, they would like a copy of this because sometimes they're looking to do business or want to do business with somebody in the community and it gives them a resource guide. That's, that's, part, that's the good part. Uh, the good part is, is that sometimes you may be looking for a particular kind of company that you may want to hire, maybe because of diversity or whatever, and so then you'll be able to go in there and, and try to identify who can serve your needs. So it's twofold. So I have one fold where there are those people who would like to do business in the African American community. It's not a quote, quote, black directory. It's for people who want to do business in the African American community. It just happens to be geared for that population. But at the same time, it's also a resource guide for those people who want to see, well, who's doing this and who's doing this and what kind of maybe janitorial service I need. Or I would like to hire. I would like to hire such and such. So it works. It works that way as well. So it behoove businesses to advertise in the directory because that would give them some exposure, and they may not be aware of it. And at the same time, it will also help businesses and companies who are looking for uh, minority, say, minority participation. That's very cool. So one of the other things that we kind of stumbled onto, I forget if it was last year or the year before, um, but we have quite a few people that come to Central Pennsylvania for their education. 
So, you know, we have Harrisburg University, you know, Hack, of course, is here. We have Penn State Harrisburg. Um, and I know one of the things that we actually stumbled onto is the fact that these college students come from other places and they want to know about things like where can they get their hair done um, and things like that. So, um, so it's, it, there's lots of different people who can really use this. Oh, there's no question. I had ran into a number of interns at a Hershey Medical Center. And they loved the directory because they were able to find out where the churches are, where the beauty shops are, where the barber shops are, and sometimes they may even want to uh, know where they can get some shoes or, or whatever. So it's a mixture of everything. And one of the things people have to understand, it's not only it's a hard copy as well as digital, but the real, real crust of the whole thing is, it's informational. Mm -hmm. Because we all assume, because you live here, you, you, if someone comes here and don't know where to get their hair cut, or don't know where to get their hair done, or don't know what church they may want to go to, they're able to look at the churches and say, well, I'll try this church and I'll try that church. And I've had people come up to me and said, this book has really been a godsend to them because they were able to find out where to get their hair done. Or they told me, oh, you know what, I found out on where I can get my hair done, but I found out where the barber shop was. And especially those people who said, I didn't know where the churches were, but you have a list of the churches, so I'm able to pick out where I want to go to church at. So it's been a really, really great directory, and it's worked for eight years for me, and I want to continue to have this directory to move on. So uh, we talked a little bit about the beginning of the at the beginning of the show as far as why you decided to get into this. So you've been doing this for eight years. So is there a time or a situation that you can think about that was a fulfilling experience for you from doing this? Oh I yes, <laughs> I, I run into a lot of older senior citizens who picked up the directory either at their church or especially at their funeral home, and they said they keep it and they put it by their phone. And each year I will, I will either get a call or someone will say to me, hey, when does your directory come out? Because Mr. Utley, I've always liked your directory and it's a godsend to me because we have other information in there. I have a list of the Social Security. We have a list of all the medical places or, or federal government 800 numbers that you need is also in that directory as well. So when we live in a day and age where there's a certain amount of the population who is stating um, don't do anything in print, there is still a very, very large amount of the readership of the directory that really do enjoy the printed copy of it. So that should not um, dissuade anybody from participating. I think this. that's correct. I think they look forward to it. You're, you're, there's no question that young people like to go on their little phone and they can pull it up, and you can pull it up on your phone. Mm -hmm. You can do that. But there are those people who like hard copies. And I must admit to you, I'm one of those people that I prefer the hard copy. Now, I would admit every now and then I'm fortunate because I can Google and it can come in, but everybody is not uh, computer savvy, and I'm trying to reach out to both populations. Mm -hmm. Yep, and it does a good job of that. Well, why don't you give us the uh, website address of where they can find more information about the 2018-19 directory? Uh, that would be www.centralpablackdirectory.com. All right, and if they want to call you to talk to you about the directory and they be can, a part of it? Sure, they can call me at 717-238- 3677. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you for being here on our show here today. Um, it's just exciting to be able to get this out there. Looking forward to those of you who have businesses or know people who have diversity initiatives um, wanting to tag in and talk to uh, Richard or I. Feel free to post any other questions that you may have. Thank you again for being on the show. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity. Thank you so much for watching Simply Social Stories and stay tuned next Wednesday at 10 a.m.